Hi, this is Aaron with Superior Singing Method, and this is Think You're Hopeless as a Singer? Do this. Okay, here we go. Think You're Hopeless as a Singer? Do this. You know what? Let me just start out by saying I'm going to give you a great exercise, and we're going to talk about singing, and we're going to make you a better singer. All that stuff's going to happen. I, what I first want to say is look, you're not hopeless as a singer. I mean, just the very fact that you've taken the initiative to get on YouTube to watch a video and you've watched this far, hey, this is what, 30 seconds or so? I, I don't know, you'll have to look. But anyway, you've got, you're at least making some steps and effort toward that thing. And that's really what it takes more than anything is tenacity, a real desire to do it and to, to move forward because it's, it's a muscle, it's something you can learn, but it is gonna take some time, okay. I digress. Here we go. So uh, the exercise is this. It's e e hey 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 e e hey 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 hey. And you can change that. So if you start with like uh, e, let's say you start there. E e hey 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 hey. I start with e. You can go e. E, e, hey, 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 hey. So you can climb up a little bit if you want, but this is the, this is the basic exercise. Let me tell you a little bit about what's going on with this exercise, because I find that when we understand what is happening with our exercise and why we're doing this thing, it's a little more motivating to do, and we can kind of do it correctly knowing why we're doing it. The first one is that we're engaging and connecting the breath with singing. Huh, huh, huh. Connecting the breath with our singing, because singing is all about breath and it's all about connecting to it. Now you've probably heard, oh, you need to sing from your diaphragm, right? Um, singing from your diaphragm. Well, that is absolutely true. And let me tell you a little bit about what that means and how to do that, connecting to the diaphragm, because this is all part of this exercise. This exercise is helping you connect with the diaphragm and connect with your breathing so that you have the most beautiful, resonant, you know, all that voice that you really want. So one way to connect with the diaphragm is to take, take complete breaths. And by complete breath, I simply just mean a complete breath. And I don't mean like tanking up, like <gasps> you don't need to do that, but just a complete breath. What happens when you take a complete breath is that the, the diaphragm descends, which creates space in the stomach, right? Diaphragm descends, creates space in the stomach for the lungs to be able to expand because the lungs, you want that air in your lungs in order to have enough air and breath in order to sing out. And so, um, like I said, you're not tanking up getting a bunch of air because that's, that's not gonna help you either, but just take a complete breath. The other thing is keep your chest high. In order to sing from your diaphragm, um, you don't wanna sing like this with this kind of bad posture. First of all, people don't take you serious when you have bad posture, but you just have regular posture, your chest high. It doesn't need to be crazy high, but just keeping your chest high as you're singing will help breathe from the diaphragm, help you breathe from our diaphragm and help you have enough air in your lungs as well. And what happens oftentimes when people sing, even if they're conscious of keeping their chest high, after they sing and blah, you know, at the end, they end up, the, the, the chest kind of collapse and their posture kind of loses. You want to keep that up nice and nice and uh, high when, when you're singing and when you're done singing before you're singing the whole time. So just be conscious of that. That seems like a small thing, but it ha it'll make a radical difference in your singing. I'm telling you, just these simple little tips are going to make a big difference in your singing. So uh, the other thing is uh, there's a danger with this open vowel of hey, like hey, it's called an open vowel. So e, e, hey, hey, th that it's easy to strain and uh, pull up your chest with that. So don't push or force too hard on that hey. Um, add a little brassiness to it. And what I mean by that is a little nasality, a little pharyngeal. So like pharyngeal is like, so you don't need to go that crazy, but it could be like, e, e, hey, 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 hey. See, I'm adding a little bit of that brassy nasal sound. Now you're not actually going to sing like that, but that's gonna help you with this exercise, which is gonna build muscles and muscle memory so that when you sing for real, it's all gonna be there and you're gonna be a great singer. Final thing, and this may be most important, click the link below, and I, I created this quiz. It's this really amazing, kind of elaborate quiz. What, and well, I'll show a little, little bit about it. I've discovered that most singers have one primary singing killer that is messing up the, all the rest of their singing. And so I've broken it down into a handful of singing killers that I find most people struggle with, and I bet you I can find your specific one. So if you take the quiz, take the test, we'll discover what your number one singing killer is, and then here's the, here's the great thing about that. It's all free, by the way. Um, you'll take that quiz, you'll find out what your number one singing killer is, and then I will send you for free, I will send you a tailor-made video for that particular singing killer 
to you, a free video that will help you target that specific thing and get better at that and at your number one singing killer in order to open up your voice so much more just by attacking the one thing that's kind of blocking you and keeping you stuck. So anyway, if you click the link below, you'll find that. And if you want to leave me a comment, just let me know what you think of these videos or what, you know, any, anything you want to tell me or a video that you'd like to see, um, you go ahead and leave me a comment. So click the link below and I'll see you next time.